So I may look like I'm really freaking red right now. It's because I just got done doing cardio. So that's why I'm so freaking red. But there's an influencer. I don't normally comment on people's posts, but this particular person put out two different meta-analysis studies showing that, suggesting that these studies show that slow training reduces muscle hypertrophy and that it reduces strength. And I examined these studies and this is just a great example of, of how influencers, because there were all these comments saying, oh my gosh, I need to basically pick up my prep tempo and assuming they shouldn't be training slow with control. But this just shows how many people botch studies because they don't read them. And in both of these meta-analysis studies, every subject used was untrained, number one, which basically completely throws out the entire study because none of them were freaking trained. So they don't even have the experience to, to know how to lift slow with intent. Number two, when they were lifting slow, they were lifting to a metronome. Now, if you don't know what a metronome is, essentially what that does is that it sets your pace for you and the, the slowness has nothing to do with the amount of weight you may be using. How many times when I'm lifting have you heard me say, I'm not moving slow because I'm trying to move slow. I'm moving slow because that's a byproduct of my engagement and my intent. In other words, what you see on the external isn't what's happening on the internal. What they were doing in these studies was just simply moving slow, even with lighter weight. So they were just moving to a pace of this noise that dictates the speed as opposed to lifting slow because they were putting that much effort into it. And there, these, these guys who put out these things so carelessly without actually explaining how freaking, uh, how terrible these research studies were actually performed. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing to me. I'm gonna start doing more takes on this because there are so many quote unquote guys out there putting these studies out that I don't think they're actually reading the studies. I don't think they're examining how their studies were done. There's a ton of issues in exercise research. I know this for my own you know, degree in exercise that the way studies are performed so many times is looking for a certain outcome, number one, and it may be even due to the funding and who's behind the study trying to get a certain result. So I just wanted to give that quick take.